Hello, I'm Jim Putnam with Plant Development Services. Today I'm here to talk about the gardenias in the Southern Living Plant Collection. It's an amazing group of plants. Of course, they're evergreen and fragrant and compact. Uh, all the things that you would, you know, people love about gardenias in the landscape. They're all for full sun or part shade. But there are some differences between the four of them. Um, I have had scent amazing gardenia in my landscape for a couple of years now. It's a very compact growing variety. It only reaches about two to three feet in height and about two to three feet in width. It has single, very, very fragrant flowers and its bloom power is amazing. It continues to bloom after a heavy bloom in the spring, continues through the summer and even into the fall. Uh, next up, we have jubilation. Uh, jubilation can reach about three to four feet in height by three to four feet feet in width. It has the more traditional uh, double flowers with a very, very compact habit, beautiful glossy green dark foliage. And then one of the newer ones uh, in the collection is Foolproof. Foolproof also grows very, very compact. Uh, we would compare this to um, Frostproof, uh, and that's where the uh, name Foolproof uh, originates from. This one was selected because the foliage um, the uh, internodes on the foliage is much closer together, giving it a much more compact habit than frostproof. And those of you who have grown frostproof for a long time knows it can get a little bit floppy in the container. Foolproof kind of takes care of that and fixes uh, some of those issues and has a much more compact, upright habit. Double flowers on it, very long bloomed, uh, just like the other two. And then, of course, the most maybe the most unique of the gardenias in the collection is Diamond Spire with its incredibly fastidious habit. Uh, this one can reach three to four feet in height or be maintained at three to four feet in height, but only about a foot to two feet in width, which is just absolutely amazing. Blooms heavy in the spring, as you would expect on uh, any gardenia, and then has residual flowers during the summer up through the fall. All the varieties in the collection are hardy in zone seven to 10. Those of you who are rooting them, uh, semi-hardwood cuttings can be taken any time between May and fall and root easily. Uh, those of you who are not rooting them, uh, check with uh, PDSI for liner availability. Uh, Well-drained soil media with a pH between five and a half and six and your regular slow release fertilizer is perfect. A well-rooted liner can be planted directly into a one gallon or a two gallon container and finish that first fall or the following spring. Diamond Spire might be a little slower than that, but definitely well worth the wait. A one gallon can be shifted into a two gallon or three gallon container in the spring and again finished in the fall, maybe over into the uh, following spring on the first flush. Please feel free to contact PDSI with any additional production questions you have about the gardenias or any of the plants in the Southern Living Plant Collection or Encore Azaleas. Your success is our success. Thanks for watching.